Hey everybody, Bryce here from CodeLife.io, and today we're talking about React hooks. So very new uh, thing that just came out in React version dot eighteen. Is that six dot eighteen? I believe it is. So React hooks allow you to do some interesting things. One of the hooks we're going to be talking about today is the use state hook. So this allows us what previously was a class component. So we had um, classes, which would be class whatever extends react.component or component if you import that. Um, and you would create a class and then you would have this.state, then you would update it and say this.set state. Um, so we'll show that here um, in a project. So I'm over on stackblitz.com. So this is a uh, popular website for uh, getting a project up and running really, really quickly. So let me go ahead and click in here and we'll just spin up a new project. So we can see, hello, React, start editing to see some magic happen. So perfect. So right here, we already have a traditional component here. Let me see if I can blow this up for you a little bit. There we go. We'll tuck that away. There we go, cool. So you can see right here, we have this dot state and it's set to react. And so when they render it inside the DOM here, it says this.state.name, which is gonna be react. And so that appears on the screen there. So that was the way we declared stateful components. So then you would have to update it and say this.setState. But now we have something new. So in here, we no longer need component. Let's say, you can say use state, oops. Perfect. And we can actually do Yeah, let's do this. Okay. So go shall leave that one there. I'm gonna create a new new functional component here. It'll say const what do we want to call this? My component equals, and it can take some props. I don't think we'll pass any, and we'll do this. And then we're gonna say, here's where the secret sauce comes in. We can say const, and we use some destructuring. We'll say use state, and we need to initialize this value, or we could leave it empty and it'd just be, um, I guess it'd be undefined or null. Um, but let's say zero, we'll just make it a counter example here. And so we initialize the state to zero. So this is the same as if we were in here and we said, um, count zero, right? Same exact thing. But instead, so what we do is we say count will be the first value in U state, uh, will be the actual variable name that we want to reference. So that'd be the same as saying this dot state dot count. And then how do we want to update that? Um, so the way we want to update that, um, and we give it, we assign it a name essentially for that function there. And so we'll, we'll call it set count. That seems to be kind of the, the going standard here. So we now have this and then we can return. I'll say div. And let's render the count. Oops. Let me just say count. Perfect. Since I'm leaving this in here, I need to bring component back. Hello, React. And down here, we can use our component we created called my component. And there it is, we see count is zero. But how are we gonna update that? Well, what we can do here is inside our div, actually let's create on a new line here. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Let me put a space here. And then let's put a button in here. 
Uh, no autocomplete on here. Perfect. So we have a button that says increment now. And so when we click on this, it doesn't do anything right now. It's pretty useless. But if we add an on click handler here, so what we can do is we'll just create a function. Um, and the function is all it's going to do is say set count. We'll say count plus one. Let's see if it works. Boom! Boom goes the dynamite. So you can see how easy this is to do. Whereas in here, we would have to, I mean, not that it was hard, but it's just such a cleaner way. And then you can actually pass this guy around, which becomes your function instead of, you know, down here, I would probably need to create a separate function and say, um, well, I guess not, but some people would be, handle increment equals and then you'd have to say count you know this dot state this dot set state oops you have to say count equals this dot state dot count plus one and you'd have to initialize it up here and say count is zero so you can see this is way leaner. We no longer need a class. We no longer need a constructor. We no longer need to pass props to the you know component that we're extending from, or the class that we're extending from, um, called super. So there's a lot of benefits to this where it's just much cleaner, much leaner code. Um, and it's very clear what we're doing when we say count and then set count. And then set count is literally just gonna be a function that we pass whatever value we want to it. And then we can build our counter just like that. So really simple, uh, really easy. Uh, if this was helpful to you guys, um, and trust me, there's much, there's many more uh, React hooks here to go over. And I'll go over, I uh, probably use effect in the next video. But if this was helpful for you, uh, please let me know, leave a comment below. Um, also like and subscribe, it helps others find the video uh, with the YouTube algorithm. And that way others can get in programming too. And that's why we do this to help others kind of level up their skills and, uh, and hopefully for most people land a job in the marketplace um, as a software developer. So thanks guys, appreciate it uh, for joining me on this quick journey into uh, U-State and React Hooks. Take care.